Do you have a problem with mice in your RV? Well, stay tuned. Holly, and thanks for joining me today for another RV quick tip. Hey, if we haven't met yet, welcome, welcome. You know, our YouTube channel, Let's Go Now Adventures, is about all things camping. Whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. So what I wanted to share with you today was something that we call our happy accident. And let me just kind of preface it. You know, we boondock a lot during the summer and I usually come down for work and John stays up with the trailer, but he does come down, you know, maybe one or two days to resupply and upload our videos. So he closes up the trailer to come down into town and when he comes up, there's always so many mice, you know? Our trailer's older, but even if you do have a newer trailer that's sealed up pretty well, you still get a lot of mice, or at least we do. So I just wanted to share you our tip. You know, we have tried everything. We've tried Irish spring soap. We have tried bounce sheets. We have tried decon. We have tried glue traps. You know, we even tried the little houses where the mouse goes in and is supposed to not be able to come back out. It always gets out. For the longest time, we tried just the regular old fashioned mouse traps. You know, we would put peanut butter or cheese on there. Somehow the mice would get in, get the cheese or the peanut butter and get off without the mouse trap even springing. So here's where our happy accident comes into play. John had locked up the trailer and he had left some garbage cans, you know, just on the side of a table. Well, when he came back from having it be closed up for a day, he found mice in the bottom of the garbage can. So he thought, oh my gosh, we might have something with this. So now when we close up the trailer for a day or two, we actually put our garbage cans alongside the, the side of a table or the side of the counter. We also bring in a couple of these pels and put them also on the side of the counter. And then we throw in like a little bit of bait. We like to use Slim Jims because they have a kind of a strong smell, along with some tissue paper or some toilet paper. They like to make their nests out of, you know, some type of paper. So we put that in the bottom of the garbage can or the pail, along with that nice bait. And can I just tell you, we always come back to find mice in our buckets. Let me just show you. So this little guy was unfortunately one of our happy accidents. You know, they get down inside the pell or the garbage can and they can't get back out. And voila, what a perfect mousetrap. So hey, I hope this quick tip helped you. You know, it may not work for everyone, but it sure has worked for us. So I just wanted to share with you. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel where we put out all sorts of tips and tricks. So happy camping and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.